let's see here. Good morning, boys and girls. Happy to be here with you all on this Monday morning. We're going to do a little review of the Pythagorean Theorem today and tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we're going to um, try and do a live Zoom class where we introduce the next module. But right now, the Pythagorean Theorem. We're going to solve a few problems together. Hopefully, you've opened the assignment. You've looked at the PDF file. You can see these five problems we're just going to work out together today. And then you're going to do um, a few examples of similar problems on your own um, as classwork and maybe a little bit of IXL practice as well. You can see that I've got a, a blank piece of paper here. I've got, uh, I've got a calculator and I've got my pencil and I'm ready to go. I put my name and date and wrote Pythagorean Review. And then I even wrote the directions for the first three problems there at the top of the page. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm going to be doing here. Let's see, can I turn that off? I'm just going to work on number one here, and what I'd like you to do is kind of draw all these problems out and then show me all your work. It's, it's going to take a little bit of time for sure. It's not super fast or super easy, but you guys got this. So we know, okay, that the Pythagorean theorem again is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we know that the legs are a and b, the short sides adjacent to the right angle and C is the hypotenuse. C is this side over here. Okay, It says write an equation showing how the Pythagorean theorem could be used to find the value of X. So I just want an equation that shows how I can find the value of X, right? Which is C. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna call this side A and I'm gonna call this side B. It doesn't really matter which one's which. A and B are the legs and I'm gonna substitute those values. So my equation would be 60 squared plus 40 squared equals x squared. And if I want an equation that helps me find the value of x, well then I'm going to take the square root of both sides here. right? Because the square root of x squared is x. And then I'm just going to leave this the way that it is. The square root of 60 squared plus 40 squared is equal to x squared. Okay, And that's all they're asking you to do there. They're just asking you to write an equation that would help you find the value of x. Okay, I'm going to keep working through these on my tablet here, and you're going to keep working on the, on the paper. All right, so let's try this out here. Alright, so on number two, what I'm looking at, okay, I'm going to I'm going to label the parts of this thing, right? If, if this is a right angle right here, and this is a right angle right here, well, these are, these are also right angles, okay? So I've got four right angles. That is um, a rectangle. So, so I can look at this a little bit differently. I can say that this side is 12. And I can say that this side is x, okay? And I'm going to call my legs a equals 12 and b equals x. And then my hypotenuse right here, 13, 13 is equal to c. That's the long side. Okay, so I have 12 squared plus x squared equals 13 squared. Now I could subtract 12 squared from both sides. And I have x squared equals 1 squared. Or, no, I'm sorry, 13 squared minus 12 squared. Okay. And then I would take the square root of both sides. And I would find that x is equal to the square root of 13 squared, which is 169, minus the square root of 144, which is 25. So x is equal to the square root of 25. Or you could have just left it at x is equal to the square root 
of 13 squared minus 12 squared. Okay, and that's the equation for number two. Okay, stop this, pause whenever you need to. We're going to look at number three. Okay, number three again, we've got a right triangle, right, right here. This is my right triangle. I know my legs are adjacent to or next to the right angle. So my legs are 2 and x. And my hypotenuse, the long side of that triangle, is 5.4. So my equation here, right, using the Pythagorean theorem is a, or 2 squared, plus B or x squared equals 5.4 squared. Okay, you could leave it there. That's an equation that could help you um, find the value of x. But you could also get x all by itself because that's really what we're trying to do here. So subtract 2 to the second power. And PEMDAS tells me that I need to um, square each of those values before I do the subtraction. So I'm not going to do any of that yet. I'm just going to keep going here. 5.4 squared minus 2 squared is equal to x squared. And so the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 5.4 squared minus 2 squared or x equals the square root of 5.4 squared minus 2 squared. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go down to number uh, 4 and if you're working on your own on your paper there, you probably want to pause the video and and get all that finished up. Okay, it says, read each problem situation, then find the missing length x. If necessary, round to the nearest tenth, show your work. Okay, so I'm, I'm reading the problem, I'm finding the missing length x, and I'm rounding to the nearest tenth while showing my work. Okay, so number one, let's see here. The land surveyor uses this diagram to find x, the length of the lake. Alright, so I'm going to label my sides. I know that my legs, A and B, are the short sides that are adjacent to the right angle, and C is the long side that's opposite of that. Okay, so I have A is 8 and B is x, so 8 squared plus x squared equals 17 squared. So 64 plus what number squared equals 289? Okay, if I subtract 64 from both sides, what I have, what I have is 225 is equal to x squared. And if I take the square root of both sides of that equation, I get x equals 15. Okay, so I know that it is 15 kilometers across the lake. x equals 15 km kilometers. Okay, and then number 5 is about this ladder that's leaning against a shed. Okay, take your time, draw these things out, and solve these problems and understand this. If you have questions, just reach out to me, contact me. Okay, we've got this 22-foot ladder. It leans against a shed. Okay, that's, that's this right here. Right, 22-foot ladder. Reaching a height of X feet. Alright, so it goes up X number of feet. Okay, that's the height. And the base of the ladder is 10 feet from the shed. All right, the base of the ladder is 10 feet from the shed. I read the problem as many times as I need to to understand it. Okay, so let's see here. 
which sides are A, B, and C. Well, the hypotenuse, the long side, is opposite of the right angle, and the legs are A and B. Okay, so A equals X, and B equals 10, and C equals 22. So I put those values in here. 22 squared equals 10 squared plus A squared. Okay, so I know that 100 is equal to oh, 22 squared. 22 up 2 equals 484. So A squared plus 100 equals 484. What number squared plus 100 equals 484? So if I take that one more step, I find that A squared is equal to 384. And if I take the square root of both sides, right, the square root of 384 equals 19.595. A is approximately 19.595. And that's feet. And then what did the directions tell us here? Let's see. If necessary, round to the nearest tenth. All right. So this 9 here tells my 5 to go up. So A is... 19.6 feet. Okay, and that's all we're going to do today. What you should be doing right now as you finish up is um, kind of just take a picture of all that work that you did. So, what I would do is, let's see here. I'd grab my phone, I'd go to my camera, I'd take a picture, I'd click on that picture, I would send it, I'd send it to my Google Drive, send it right there, and then I'd I'd send it to my student email account. And then when I went into the classroom, when I went into the classroom, I would be able to I'd be able to upload that photo. Right? I could go into the classwork. I could I could pick one of these. assignment and then when I get in there I could just I could just add it to the assignment I went into the wrong account I apologize but you get the idea okay that's what we're doing here just uh, show me your work and submit it great thanks guys